So, day one <laughs> of the big 50 sofa challenge, and it's already proving very interesting. Only a few miles into their 100 mile feet, and things quickly ground to a halt. And this time, it wasn't Paul playing up. It was the settee. Yeah, I reckon someone put a little bit of a spanner in the works, you know, Keely, just to get a cheeky rest. Mm, well, should we ask them? Do you think? <laughs> we should. <laughs> Hello there, guys. How are you doing? Good evening. Well, Ian, I'm very pleased to say that Paul did behave himself I today. Did. I did Sadly, all the work. <laughs> well, not quite. Sadly, the sofa did not. We've had our fair share of technical difficulties, but we finally made it to Osset. We did. Yeah. Received. And this is the best we can do. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not a bad luck, actually. They gave us a fantastic reception. I have to say, my heart sank at round about uh, 7.45 this morning when yeah. we came out of the hotel and the rain absolutely poured down. Mm. And do you know what made it even worse for me? Well. Hudson predicted it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. It. A, a, a rare success today, <laughs> Harry. I mean, I must admit, it was a bit depressing, but we were at a beautiful venue. Let's recap that route that we went on today because we started around about half past eight um, in Oakwell Hall and in what Burstall. A, we got? a brilliant turnout. We even had bagpipes, mm. and, and what more do you want? Uh, <laughs> and then we went to Heckman Dwight. We had a fantastic lunch in Batley. Uh, on to Dewsbury and then a real slog up that hill. That, that was three miles. Three miles. Yeah, it took us about difficult. an hour and a half, and that is a flavour, really, of what's, what's to come. come. Mm. I mean, we've got Howarth, we've got Sheffield, we've got the Peak District, we've got everything to come in the next few days. But a wine win Evans, that famous, famous quiff. Welshman quiff. with a quiff, <laughs> he's been with us all day. This is his story. It was wet. It was cold as well, but despite what I would describe as being less than ideal conditions, there was still a fabulous turnout at Oakwell Hall this morning for our tremendous trio, ahead of what's expected to be their toughest challenge yet. Three, two, one, go! And we're off. Harry, Paul and Amy were in for some pretty tough terrain almost straight away. Boys. A few big hills to negotiate as we leave Burstall. We catch up with them after the first. That was a lot harder than I thought. I and mean, yeah. it's really pulling on the back of the shoulders. Yeah. It's pulling on the thighs as well. Mm. I know I'm wrong, but I thought your job at the back would be the easiest. But I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought. That's why I opted for the back. But, uh... <laughs> bit of a struggle was that. I think even young Hudson here has had a... You know, realised it was a bit of a pull. I mean, going downhill is relatively easy. Mm -hmm. You've just got the brakes to worry about, but going up, everybody has to sort of knuckle down a bit. As the team roll on, all harnessed up, the sofa challenge buckets start filling up. And all that rain that our Paul forecast still didn't dampen the spirits of our supporters. Good luck, Harry Paul and Amy! It's so exciting that the thing is, we were both thinking, you're doing so much for sport relief, which is a good thing. I think they're doing brilliant. They, they always do a good challenge. Yeah, and you know, it's good charity, cars and that, everything, yeah. We, we yeah. really like sport and that's what we've come for, yeah. yeah. But then, just as we start to get into the swing of things, that does not sound good. Smell burning rubber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it does feel like the brakes keep going on on their own, so there's something not quite right down there. But you're pushing on. How is it feeling now at the moment? Oh, it feels fine actually. We're yeah. going downhill, so it's all right. I just need to uh, have my fingers over the brakes for when we do need to uh, to stop. But uh, yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's awesome. the weather, really. That's the That's only thing. It. Sorry about that. Well, after a quick pit stop in Heckman Dwyke, the sofa's back on the move. And the rain has stopped too. Good news. Then, after a quick lunch break in Batley, it's back on the road to yet more support and cheers. Darlings, this is the life. Honestly, I don't know what the fuss is all about. It's easy. Paul, how are you feeling? What's the hardest bit so far? Well, pushing you around on this sofa. <laughs> I'm only dainty. <laughs> Cheeky. Onwards. <laughs> well, if he thought pushing me about was tough, he clearly didn't see this hill on the map. I can't push anymore. Anyway, after heading off from Dewsbury, it's a bit more of an off-road venture for the last leg. We take the cycle path left through a tunnel where we're ahead of time. But there's not much time to rest. We're back on the road again tomorrow for day two of the Sofa Challenge. Owen Wynne Evans, BBC Look North.
Well, we could certainly have done without that extra weight from Owain on the yeah. sofa, couldn't we? But um, as Owain pointed out there, these breaks have been a nightmare today. They have indeed. That's maybe quite nervy for the rest of the week because if uh, a few hours in we're having technical problems, I hate to think what the rest of the week. It was like. hard. It was very, very hard, and I think we all struggled for a, a good hour, maybe two hours, before we actually cut the brakes yep. to yeah. try and help us. That's what we did. But I have to say that when you get a bit low, you're then boosted, and we were boosted by the appearance of Dean Hoyle, the Huddersfield Town Chairman in Heckman Dwight. He loves this uh, neck of the woods, of course. This is his part of the uh, the world. And he gave us a fantastic check. Dean, you're a good very old boy. Generous. Thank you very thank much you for indeed. That. And thank you to everyone along the way who's mm -hmm. put fivers, tenors, yeah, yeah. 20 pound notes in the buckets. That's really what this is all about, it raising is. as much cash as we can. It's a really special day for the BBC, not just because it's the Sofa Challenge, but also because it's School Report Day. And that's when the BBC opens its doors to school children to give them a flavour of what it's like to work in news and it couldn't have fallen on a better day for Upper Batley High. What better could it be for three presenters, one sofa, a lot of rain and dodgy breaks? The perfect storm for some would-be reporters. Hi, today we're bringing you a very special report. The day the sofa came to Batley? Yeah! But first, we need to have a meeting. So guys, what do you think? Don't you think we should ask something to do with the weather? Yeah, it'll be more yeah, harder for them. Sure. Yeah. And I mean, it's going all across Yorkshire as well, so it's not just Batley, you know, it's going all across. Over the next eight days, Amy, Harry and Paul, they'll cover 100 miles and visit 50 different towns and villages, all to raise money for sport relief. Guess where we are? We're at Fox's Biscuits and the sofa's due any minute, giving us enough time to have a biscuit. She looks ridiculous in that hat. <laughs> no more ridiculous than you. <laughs> You're doing a good job though, you enjoying it? Hard work? No. <laughs> no, we've got an easy job, you're right. Push that sofa and then you'll know it's hard work. <laughs> we've not had chance to do any training because of all the weather, because I was out in the snow for a week and that was going to be our training week. Uh, so we, the first time we've really actually used the sofa has been this morning. And they're off! <laughs> Today has been a fantastic day seeing the sofa go through Batley. We filmed and we interviewed and the rain even stopped. Let's hope it stays like this as tomorrow the sofa goes from Tadcaster to York. Upper Batley High School, School reporting, reporting from BBC, BBC Lockmore. <laughs> well done well to done. the uh, pupils of Upper Batley there. You know, for this particular week to be successful, we do need your help. We need as much money as possible. This is how you can help us by donating. If you'd like to support our efforts and make a donation to Sport Relief, you can donate £5. Text the word SOFA to 70205. Text costs £5 plus your standard network message charge and 100% of your donation will go to Sport Relief. You must be 16 or over and please ask the bill payers permission. For full terms or to donate online, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash sofa or by post please send a cheque made payable to sport relief 2018 to bbc look north to st peter's square leeds ls9 8ah thank, thank you. you thank you for your donations so far please do keep on donating now do you want to know how much we've raised today yes! four thousand four hundred pounds yes! <laughs> absolutely fantastic yes in the pouring rain. Thank you so much to everybody, but of course, we need more money for this fantastic sports relief charity. Uh, we're out and about tomorrow. It's a much bigger task, mm -hmm. between 15 and 16 miles. Please come and see us. This is tomorrow's route if you want to come and join us. Day two is more than 15 miles long. We'll set off from outside John Smith's brewery in Tadcaster at 8.30 and cross the bridge. Then it's a long stint in the countryside, pushing that sofa to Bolton Percy, 
Appleton Roebuck and we'll stop for a break in Acaster Mulbis and pass Bishopthorpe Palace and York Racecourse as we travel along Bishopthorpe Road into York. Once in the city centre, our route takes us past Clifford's Tower. We finish in Museum Gardens. York is number 11 of our 50 locations. See the full route at www.bbc.co.uk forward slash sofa and follow our progress on Twitter at BBC Sofa. Just like to say thanks to everybody. Ossip for turning out tonight. You've been brilliant. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, thank you very, very much. much. Another seven to go. We've knocked off five locations yep. of our 50. Please do keep supporting us because uh, that support is what's keeping us pushing this sofa up those hills. Definitely. <laughs> Back to you guys. Harry and Amy, you were brilliant. Paul, what on earth are you wearing on your head? <laughs> I don't know. Girls, what do you make of that? I thought it looked very trendy in his headband. <laughs> I don't know what it was. We'll try that tomorrow night, yeah. shall we? Uh, are they going to have a better...